So, what is Bitcoin? What is this blockchain? What are these things and what are they used for? Well, stay tuned to find out. Hey guys and welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is Monday, February 18th, 2019. And welcome back, welcome. So, um, for you new viewers out there, thank you for joining us. Um, for you old viewers, Thank you for joining us. Now, um, this, the title of today's show is, uh, you know, what is this Bitcoin? You know, what is blockchain? What is all this stuff? What is it used for? What's, uh, you know, a little uh, Bitcoin for dummies type of thing? Well, um, again, uh, I know a lot of you guys know exactly what all this stuff is for, but there's a lot of people out there that still don't know. And it's always good to keep constantly refreshing our memories as to you know not exactly what this technology is but you know why we need it why is uh it's so important and so on and so forth so first off let's start with bitcoin because bitcoin is pretty much you know the one everybody knows about everyone knows what at least has heard of the word bitcoin by this point um you know bitcoin or even cryptocurrency but definitely bitcoin is a word that is uh well known by a lot of people out there so the thing is that most people just don't know what bitcoin really is so and, and and it's hard to really explain it so let's let's uh see if we can make it really easy to understand all bitcoin is is just another currency so you know when you go on your vacation you know to mexico or on your vacation to um, another country in europe or what have you and you would exchange your dollars or your euros in for other currency so if you're coming to mexico you would get pesos if you go to europe you get euros if you go um you know to canada you get canadian dollars and depending on the country on where you're at around the world you get the currency so what crypto what crypto i mean well what bitcoin is <laughs> jump the gun there but what bitcoin is is literally just a digital currency now the way they created this currency was in the you know using the old uh, ideology of the scarcity of like gold and stuff like that so back when we used to have a gold standard and we used to have um, more control over a monetary system now i'm trying to make this a layman terms explanation here i'm not trying to get too deep as to why exactly we need bitcoin we'll talk about that further in other episodes and so on but um and we talk about that all the time but you know this is really just so you can understand what bitcoin is so again what bitcoin is it's a currency so it's again it's not a peso it's not a dollar it's not a euro or a ruble or anything like that it's a bitcoin it's its own currency now the question that follows up is like whoa who owns this you know what country and then the answer i would give you would be that there is no country there's no one that owns this you own it whoever owns it owns it you understand so now this is what gives it this this thing they call bitcoin such magical power because right now for example let me just start giving you some examples as to what's going on you know with our monetary system right now no matter where you live you you might always be complaining about your government not spending money correctly whether they're not however they're not spending it correctly a lot of times you know our government isn't spending it correctly by i don't know going to war and funding death and taking over countries and 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 using our tax money for bombs and and things like that as opposed to using our tax money to fix the streets to fix the water um, pipes you know like in flint or other parts of the u.s like in louisiana and so on and so forth or fixing the roads like a lot of places need it or the infrastructure and so on and so forth so that's what we pay our taxes for right but our taxes don't seem to be going to that so and again this is all because of the, the money remember all, we're just the money 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 we're talking about money here so now imagine if we had a system and it doesn't have to be bitcoin you know this is now where the blockchain and cryptocurrency and all this other stuff comes in but imagine now that we had a system okay in which we have our own money and now we get to choose what to do with that money so for example um when we want to be able to when we want the community or anyone to fix the street or to fix you know the water pipeline or to build a new school or buy books or to do anything now we don't have to rely on a government entity 
for them to supply this money in which and, and for them to do this work in which they're not. So now the community can, can t take control of that power of having that money again and now be able to use this in order to fund projects and get things done and so on and so forth. Now remember, this is like the Bitcoin for dummies here, okay? We're just giving you the layman terms. Sorry, everyone is wanting to chat with me now. Um, but, you know, just, just like the quick layman terms, easy peasy explanation. All right, short episodes, super short. I usually make very long episodes, but we're, we're trying a few new things on this channel, seeing how it goes. Now, the big, you know, Bitcoin and the blockchain and all these things, they have, you know, a lot of benefits. All of a sudden, a thing like Bitcoin or any other currency that's on this thing called a ledger, every time that there's any kind of transaction, it is recorded on this thing called a ledger, but a digital ledger is called a blockchain. And this blockchain, you know, it doesn't allow anyone to um, mess with that information, you know, either alter it or delete it or anything like that. So all of a sudden, our, our, our own governments or our own banks or our own system that runs everything, if they run on a blockchain, on a real blockchain or run on this real technology, real, uh, real cryptocurrency, um, then they would have to follow these real checks and balances and all of us the, the public, you know, the voting public would have the ability to go and check on online exactly where every all the monies went. OK, so now they won't be able to pocket the money or, or do these nefarious things because every single thing will really, you know, show where everything's going. And let's just go to like something else that's not currency. Now let's go to the blockchain and explain how important it is like in voting. It's the same thing. You know, now people would have the ability to vote from their phones and because of this blockchain technology, remember this is a layman terms, okay? But now because of this blockchain technology, you know, people will be able to really, like everyone around the country will be able to vote from their phone and not just vote from the phone, but you know, having the full 1 million percent confidence that vote will not be able to get hacked and will get to point A to point B and everything is on a ledger and so on and so forth. So this is why, you know, you see governments and banks that don't like this technology because this technology is offering all this power to us, the people, and stripping it away from them, the people that have the power and have the money and have everything. So this is just layman terms. I would really suggest for anyone out there that wants to know a lot more information on all of these things to subscribe to my channel, to check out the rest of my channel look at all these other videos learn also ask away i have a huge community we have a discord you can also chat in the comments and um, i usually respond and uh you know as soon as i can but i always respond i'm sorry and um and we can continue the discussion we can talk about anything you want to know if there's anyone out there that's a newbie and wants to learn more please what would you like to know more about and i'm here to help you out to help guide you through it this is all all this stuff is very new and very complicated to a lot of people and hard to swallow so i'm going to try my best you know to help you guys understand this i think we're all in this together and um i you know i've kind of been dedicating myself on this channel for over a year to doing that and uh, it's been going pretty well so i'm going to continue that but we're just i've been getting a lot of requests for these kind of videos so here we go let's let's really you know see if we can break it down further so Today's video was extremely short and just giving you a little bit of a taste, a little bit of a hint for anyone out there that um, is new to this world. Um, so you can understand what really makes this stuff so awesome and so great. Okay, Th this world, um, there's just so much to talk about, but this is really revolutionary and gonna change the world and it's gonna benefit us, the people. Okay, and um, that's it. They don't have the power of money anymore. They don't have the power of technology anymore. They don't have any of this power anymore. We have this power now. But if we don't educate everyone correctly, we're not gonna be able to use this to our advantage, but instead they're gonna use it to put more chains on us, okay? And make things worse, okay? So please guys, all right? If you like this content, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Thank you so much to all my patrons. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. <laughs> Battery ran out right before I was able to finish the episode. But again, um, on Wednesday mornings, we have a live show. All the times are down there. I upload pretty much almost every day. Um, and um, I also live stream on Twitch. 
and BitTube, please check out the links below and join us on Twitch later tonight, okay? And you can get the times down below. And um, again, thanks to all my patrons, thanks to all my viewers, all my subscribers, everyone out there, new, old, in between. And um, thanks again for watching. And I hope you guys liked this episode. And uh, just let me know if uh, what you guys think. And we can go from there. Thanks again. And uh, I'll see you guys mañana. Peace.